I have been uh, following uh, the uh, show, because what else can you call it other than a show, uh, this morning, and there is a lot to discuss. Uh, so, uh, housekeeping, this is a super chat. If you like what I have to say, if you like my reporting, definitely, definitely hit me up in the super chat. Uh, you could leave a couple bucks, and we also have a GoFundMe for Status Coup, uh, which is the company I'm launching soon. So, full disclosure... I did not see uh, most of Christine Ford's testimony yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, I had a very important meeting for a story uh, I'm trying to get published on the Flint water crisis, and it was right, right during uh, the testimony for Christine Ford. So I did not watch it live, but I did see uh, a lot of the clips afterwards. I did watch most, uh, actually all, of Brett Kavanaugh's um, nomination or whatever you would call it, uh, reincarnation as Donald Trump. Because it is very, very clear that Brett Kavanaugh got a talking to from President Trump. He went from a mild, mild-mannered mouse in his Fox News interview to doubling and tripling and quadrupling down like President Trump. Uh, so I have a lot of thoughts. And then what just happened, if you didn't watch the all morning slash afternoon long uh, Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, so basically for Kavanaugh to be uh, confirmed to the Supreme Court, first he has to get through the Senate Judiciary Committee. And if he gets through the Senate Judiciary Committee, it brings him to uh, the entire Senate for a floor vote. So before the Judiciary Committee meeting this morning, uh, it came out that Jeff Flake was going to be voting uh, yes, yes, for um, Brett Kavanaugh uh, as a Supreme Court judge, at least in this uh, Judiciary Committee meeting. So he put out a statement, and he was ready to vote for it. And then uh, there was a, a, a basically a confrontation uh, against Senator Flake, uh, where he trying to get up or down an elevator, it wasn't exactly clear, uh, he was uh, basically confronted by uh, a, a one woman who was a sexual assault uh, survivor and another woman, and you would have to be a sociopath not to look at this, or if you're Jeff Flake, not to be affected by this. Let me play you that. Yes, I understand that you said just on last Monday, night you felt that the, way, that the, that the witness Monday, was in fact credible. On Monday, I stood in front of your office with Adi Barkin. I and told the story of my sexual assault. I told it because I recognized in Dr. Ford's go. story I that she is telling the truth. What you are doing is allowing someone who actually violated a woman to sit in the Supreme Court. This is not tolerable. You have children in your family. Think about them. I have two children. I cannot imagine that if for the next 50 years, they will have to have someone in the Supreme Court who has been accused of violating a young girl. What are you doing, sir? I was this sexually assaulted and nobody believed me. I didn't tell anyone, and you're telling all women go that they don't the matter, sir. that they should just stay quiet because if they tell you what happened to them, you're going to ignore them. That's what happened to me, and that's what you're telling all women in America, that they don't matter. They should just keep it to themselves because if they have told the truth, you're just going to help that man to power anyway. That's what you're telling all of these women. That's what you're telling me right now. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You're telling me that my assault doesn't matter, that what happened to me doesn't matter, and that you're going to let people who do these things into power. That's what you're telling me when you vote for him. Don't look away from me. Look at me and tell me that it doesn't matter what happened to me. That you'll let people like that go into the highest court of the land and tell everyone what they can do to their bodies. Senator Flake, do you think that Fred, Brett Kavanaugh is telling the truth? Thank you. Thank do you think that he's able to hold the pain of this country and repair it? That is the work of justice. The way that justice works is you recognize harm, you take responsibility for it, and then you begin to repair it. You're allowing someone who is unwilling to take responsibility for his own actions, unwilling to hold the harm that he has done to one woman, actually three women, 
and 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 repair it. You are allowing someone who is unwilling to take responsibility for his own action to respond to sit in the higher court of the country and to and to have the role of repairing the harm that has been done in this country to many people. No, no, thank you. What do you think? You do you Senator, do you care to respond? Ma'am, do you want to talk to the staff right now? No, I want to talk to him. Don't talk to me. What do you think? I understand, but tell me I'm standing right here in front of you. What do you have? To, do you think that he's telling the truth? Do, no. Do you think that he's telling the truth to the country? You have power when so many women are powerless. Thank you. Can you not give them an answer, We have, our, we have our press available to talk you to you guys if you want. You've got to an answer there. Give them an answer. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Got a response? Thank you. Thank you. Come in or out. Thank you. Saying thank you is not an answer. Okay, this is about go. the future of our country, sir. You're you appointing to a lifetime appointment in the Supreme Court. That's fine. Yeah. Find security. You can be a hero and vote Why not wait? Why not wait? Why not wait for the investigation? There's no harm. How can you be speechless? What's the harm of the Do you stand with this nation? Do you stand with this nation? Deserve a due process. What is it? The open vote again, ma'am? Senator, do you want to respond to, to their to their complaint? Senator, do you care to respond to their complaint? No, oh, I, I need to go to the hearing. I just issued a statement. I'll be saying more as well. So, no, I, 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 there have been a lot of questions here, and uh, I don't want to ask you. No, sure, everybody There's only one question. Do you Everyone. think the American Bar Association says that they should wait for an FBI investigation? Do, do you not believe that? You be heard by the highest people in power that they're... Wow. 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 I, I know that was long, but I wanted to play the whole thing for you and share this video. Let's get it out to as many people as we can. So uh, basically, if you didn't see the whole thing, he put out a statement this morning that he was going to vote for Kavanaugh uh, to get, you know, for nomination. And he was the deciding vote that would get it out of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Then he gets confronted by uh, uh, sexual assault survivors in that elevator. Uh, I think he should have answered them. I, I, I don't know how you just stand there and don't say anything. You are a public servant. And then um, when the meeting was supposed to, when, when the committee was supposed to vote at 1.30 Eastern time, Jeff Flake had gotten up from his seat and went to a back room with some of the Democratic senators. So it appeared that he might have been changing his mind. He might have been changing his mind to vote for Brett Kavanaugh. Thank you, Gene, 499 in the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, this is a super chat, so keep it coming. So then, in a weird thing, Jeff Flake speaks and says, I am going to vote yes for it to pass the Senate Judiciary Committee, meaning Kavanaugh's nomination will uh, voted and, and got approved, past the Senate Judiciary Committee and all the way to the Senate floor. But Flake said, I, that is contingent, and I believe that there needs to be a one week, uh, limited in time and scope, as they put it, FBI investigation into Christine Ford's accusations against Brett Kavanaugh, as well as uh, the other women who have come forward uh, against Brett Kavanaugh. So basically, he voted yes, allowing Kavanaugh to go through, but says, I'm voting yes with the asterisk that I think there should be a FBI investigation and that I'm not necessarily going to vote. I'm not necessarily going to vote yes on the Senate floor. So there's a lot to unpack there. Basically, he voted to allow it to get through the Senate Judiciary Committee process, but he's saying there needs to be an FBI investigation which suggests to me that he's saying he will be an ultimate, if there is no FBI investigation, that ultimately he will be a no. And keep the super chat money coming. Thank you, Eric, for the two bucks. Natural Progressive for the two bucks. Cuban Link for the nine ninety nine. So there's a lot to unpack there. But during, during the Senate Judiciary Committee uh, meeting, it came out 
that Indiana Senator Joe Donnelly, who is up for re-election in Indiana, he's a red state Democrat, said he will vote no to confirm Brett Kavanaugh. Montana uh, Senator John Tester, who is also a Democrat in a red state, up for re-election, will vote no. I like to criticize the Democratic Party because they are corrupt as sin and are fake and pretending to be progressives, but you have to give credit where credit is due. The fact that Tester up for re-election and Donnelly up for re-election are voting no in two red, red states. You have to give them credit. They are, they are doing the right thing. So other things happened in this hearing. I don't know if all of you were able to watch it. I watched the whole thing. Today's hearing. The uh, leader of the committee, Chuck Grassley, who might as well be a, a living dinosaur, he said that uh, Mark Judge, who is the other man, uh, Brett Kavanaugh's high school uh, buddy, who Christine Ford accused, it was Brett Kavanaugh and Mark Judge as trying to sexually assault her, of trying to force her to have unwanted intercourse with them. Uh, he was the only other witness there in that room. And that is what Christine Ford is um, alleging. And I did not see the whole, I did not see all of her testimony, but the parts I saw, she seemed extremely credible to me. 